Well, for some of the Angola prison rodeo is a tradition and for more than five decades now people have marked off each Sunday in October to attend that rodeo. Over the next few weeks we'll be taking a deeper look into the rodeo and how it impacts not only inmates but the community as a whole. Tonight our Justice Henderson takes us behind the scenes and introduces us to the inmates who make the rodeo possible. When you roll into the month of October in Louisiana that's kind of synonymous with uh, Angola Prison Rodeo. And it's the inmates who make it all possible. And on um, bareback riding, riding a bull, convict poker, and Gus and Glory. Today I got wild horse race, wild cow milking, bulldogging, and Gus and Glory. It is, this is our 53rd year of rodeo here in Louisiana, and it is a Louisiana tradition. But the inmates who volunteer say it's more than a rodeo. Gus and Glory give me a thrill. It's just you standing there while the bull coming, don't know which one to hit. It's amazing. Despite criticism and even an online petition to end the rodeo, inmates say they want to participate because the hundreds of dollars they can win makes the thrill much more worthwhile. When I win, well, I place in the events, I win a certain amount of money. That way I won't have to depend or ask my family for nothing. Some inmates are new to the rodeo and others have been doing it 10 plus years, but it all comes down to behavior. So it's, it's a behavioral modification tool basically because if your conduct is good and uh, the uh, one of the things that we do is it's voluntary to, to participate in the rodeo. You have to have a good conduct record and you have to have a good duty status or you can't have any medical concerns. But for one inmate, the rodeo is personal. It makes us be a part of society again, you know. It lets them see that we are responsible people and that we can interact, that we're not just criminals, that, you know. We are regular people and that we can all have fun together. And the inmates say they count down every month until October rolls around again. It's almost like the whole year is based up upon this because, you know, October, every Sunday we're going to come out here. We have our own way of uh, providing for ourselves, not having to depend on nobody, become too dependent. I would say that they look at us and they say, you know, maybe these people might have just made one bad decision. They're just regular people like us, you know, that, that, that they just had one bad day. But other than that, we're just normal people that like to have fun and like to absorb our talents just like everybody else. At Angola, Justice Henderson, KTC TV3. And coming up next week in part two of our series, we look into how inmates use the rodeo arts and crafts section to make money for themselves and the prison.